How's it going everybody and welcome back to the channel. Martin with Belvoir Auto Spa and uh, today's video I'm going to review uh, Fane Labs tire and wheel cleaner. Now a couple things about this product. One, go on their website it says it is certified installers only. However I did purchase it from a certified installer so it seems like you can buy it from shops that are certified installers. I don't know why they don't sell it online but whatever. Um, I believe this is their approved product to prep wheels um, for wheel coatings. So you're probably wondering why there's two separate bottles here. Um, we got a clear plastic one, and a HDPE plastic bottle. So apparently, um, at some point, what, uh, this is what I bought originally. And Fan Labs chemist didn't know that they were bottling it in these bottles. So for those of you who've used or Sure, a good handful of you probably experienced this before. Uh, you put high alkaline chemicals inside these clear plastic bottles. It eventually, will eat its way through and leak out all over the place, which is exactly what happened. Now, um, after I realized that mess in my cabinet, I reached out to uh, Jason. Jason's in San Antonio. He's the guy I bought this from. If you want to buy uh, any Fane Lab stuff from him and you're in San Antonio, get in touch with me and I'll get you in touch with him. Um, but yeah, basically, I reached out to him. He said it happened to him as well and ruined a lot of his inventory. <laughs> so but he said they had since changed to the HDPE, that's high-density dens high polyethylene plastic bottles. Um, in doing that, I also reached out to Fane Lab, mentioned that they should be using HDPE. Before they replied, I realized, oh, okay, I guess you are. Well, that's good. And I reached out to him over Facebook, by the way. So they are responsive on their Facebook page, which is good. Um, and they told me that, at first they asked, okay, where did you buy it from? I told them where I bought it from. They apologized, and they said, we'll send you a new one free of charge, which is what we have here. So very good customer service on Fane Labs, and um, you don't see that with a lot of companies. Most of, you, most of them will just tell you, oh, you know, go, go back to where you bought it from, blah, blah, blah. But they're just like, hey, you know, it's our bad for bottling it that way. Um, we have since bottled it properly, and here you go. So thank you for that fan lab. Now I did this one right here. I did get a chance to use it a time or two. Uh, so I do have experience with this product a little bit, but we're going to go ahead and uh, show it on camera so you all can see how it is. If I can get this tape off. Come on. There we go. All right, so taking a look at the label real quick. It does say, uh, work with one wheel at a time, spray into the tire and rim, liberally agitate with a wheel brush. Rinse off, do not allow the product, product to dwell for extended periods of time, blah, blah, blah. Uh, naked metal wheels, do a test spot first. So basically, this, this is an alkaline cleaner, I believe. Um, you, you only want to use it on like OEM and clear coated wheels, uh, wheels with sensitive finishes or aluminum wheels. You don't want to use it on them. So we're going to take out the pH tester and we're going to see what the pH level of this is. Now this doesn't say to dilute, it is ready to use. It's a cool neonish color. Turn the pH tester on, rinse it off in some water. Now again, my water is alkaline. This is water from my house. I got a pH of about Nine and a half. Put the pH tester in here, shake it around a little bit. Let's stabilize out. So yeah, pH of around eleven. It's still climbing. Looks like there. Yeah. So eleven. Say between eleven and eleven and a half, that area. So definitely alkaline. If you know anything about alkaline chemicals and alkaline cleaners, uh, definitely keep it away from certain finishes. Now that I got it in here, look, it's raised the alkalinity of the water by a whole point. Just a small amount. So that's something interesting. We're going to dump that back in. Hopefully we don't spill it everywhere. All right, now we're going to go over to my wife's car. The uh, black Corolla got... OEM black wheels, some dirty tires. Let's see how effective this stuff is at cleaning it off. All right, let's get over to it. All right, now this doesn't say to pre-rinse the wheels, so we'll go ahead and just spray it on there. 
and get to work. Now, this is this really interesting neon color. I don't know if that means anything. I don't know if it's because of the surfactant, because of the chemicals used to make it, or if that's just the dye they decided to put in it. Maybe if I see this video, they can uh, respond in the comments and we'll all know. Or if you know, go ahead and respond in the comments and let me know. We can let everyone else know. Now, I will say for colors like this, you're going to make sure you <laughs> make sure you rinse your driveway off. Um, don't let it sit out here in the sun or it can stain. But you can see it's pulling the browning off those tires right away. Like, no hesitation there. It's already discolored, which means it's it's working. So... That's a good sign. So we will first clean the tire off. Pretty strong stuff. Oh yeah, and I do have a tire coating as well. I'll try it out, not bad. It is like a black dye coating. My son and his friend are out here playing, so don't mind them. Hopefully the noise canceling on this microphone works well enough. Uh, then we'll clean the wheel off. So we'll start and clean out the barrel first. Look at that, you can see that black crud. I don't know if that's showing on camera. Yeah, it is. The black crud's running right off the tire, or off the wheel. Just from the brush. <laughs> this brush is the um, Speedmaster from Auto Geek, which is their basically the red version of the uh, Easy Detail brush. It even says on it, made by Easy Detail. So I think on Amazon you can get the blue Easy Detail brush. <laughs> Same thing. All right, then we'll get the wheel wells too. All right, now let's get the face of the wheel. All right. So far, it's been pretty effortless, which is nice. And then, of course, we'll get the lug nuts. My leg's not getting in the way too much. All right, now I'll rinse it off. See how clean it's come. Imagine it's gotten pretty clean. Wheel looks pretty clean. The tire is pretty clean. That's good. So, I'm crud on my fingers. Or if I touched it before, it would have turned black. Um, I'm going to go grab the uh, V3 detailer. I want to see, I think I tested that before. I can use it as spray and rinse to get some protection on these wheels. So, let's do that. All right, we got the V3 detailer. 
right here. Now this you can buy from them. Got it shaken up. So let's Clarisol spares are kind of nice because it's tougher to control in a sense. Now we got that applied. Let's rinse it off, see if we get any water beading from that. I imagine we should. Oh yeah, there we go. Got some beading and sheeting. Let's go ahead and apply another layer. Very nice. And then you got some protection on your wheels. So definitely a good wheel and tire cleaner. Um, this is a bit pricey. I think it costs like $20 a bottle, but maybe you can find it on a better deal. Anyways, let's go in for the final thoughts. All right, so Fain Lab or Fine Lab wheel and tire cleaner, tire and wheel cleaner, however you want to pronounce it or call it. Um, it is a good product. Definitely a good product. Um, it is a bit on the pricier side. Um, you know, I, I imagine you can probably get this by the gallon, but you're going to have to talk to their distributor network to grab some of this doesn't look like you can buy this from them directly now the pure wash the detailer you can um, i don't know why the wheel and tire cleaner is on my list of exclusive chemicals but it is what it is um, definitely a good product though if you're buying a bunch of fan lab products uh, it's a good one to go ahead and throw in the cart um, oh yeah and then let me grab the other thing make sure you grab the black velvet tire sealant now this stuff uh, like i said i have used i'm not going to do a demo of it right now um, but it is like a black dye slash almost like a resin that coats your tires um, and dries on there. So it's dry to the touch. It's almost like you're painting your tires, but it does make your tires look really nice, um, especially if your tires are kind of faded, I guess. Um, but, you know, it doesn't work on white walls and such when black tires. If you got Vogue's, don't use it. <laughs> don't use it on Vogue's. But, um, yeah, Fan Lab's a great company. Uh, everything is a U.S.-based company, I believe. So... Definitely check them out if you're in San Antonio or in the area and you want to get some from Jason. Get in touch with me. I'll get you in touch with him. Um, but other than that, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what your favorite wheel and tire cleaner has been so far. I know a lot of you are saying nano skin. Um, I'll get to that eventually, I promise. Um, that's all I got for you guys. I will see you all in the next video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Keep them clean. Have a good one.